Hello there, Star Wars toy fans. This is Jim. Thanks again for taking the time to stop by my channel. I hope you all are doing well in these crazy times that we live in. Well, the focus of today's video is the 1982 Kenner Scout Walker, also known formally as the ATST or informally as the Chicken Walker. Now, I'll say this right up front, and some of you may disagree, but this is like the least, this is my least favorite. Uh, vehicle of the entire Star Wars line uh, that Kenner produced. I, I thought it was dorky when it, when I saw it in Return of the Jedi. I don't remember seeing it in Empire, although it was there on Hoth. Uh, but uh, when I saw it in Return of the Jedi, I'm like, who thought of that thing? Uh, it's just, just awkward looking. Anyway, uh, I have it in my collection because I'm trying to complete my Kenner collection and. Uh, just you just need one if you're going to complete that. So, and I, interestingly, I have two of them. <laughs> I'll talk about that in just a minute. But let's take a look at the box art. So uh, we have here the the uh, vehicle itself, featuring Darth Vader, and you got the Snow Trooper, the Adat driver, and of course the Adat commander. But there's no ATST driver in it. Why? Well, because that figure wasn't produced until the Return of the Jedi line. So, what do we have? We have the Adat Driver. Looking at the side of the box, it shows some of the features. So, we have the walking action, which we'll demonstrate here in a moment. Scout Walker can stand unassisted. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Is it just going to fall over automatically? Um, that's a pretty amazing feature. Uh, open top to place action figure inside. Ooh, ah, okay. Uh, swivel side cannons, and there you and here clicking laser machine gun sound. Okay, well, it's, most of the Kenner vehicles had some sort of plastic reed that you rotated around and clicked on a gear. On the front, as uh, like the other side I showed you, or the back, if you will, and this has uh, happened to be purchased at Gold Circle. Now, what's interesting, well, you see first there, $15.99, so that wasn't exactly a cheap rig for the time. Uh, Gold Circle was a chain store that had 76 stores that spanned four states, New York, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. And they were founded, based in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, they were founded in 1967 and then went out of business in 1988. So that's kind of neat. I, I like getting the boxes where they have the price sticker on there. I just think that's really cool. Part of the history. Um, and then this side shows exactly what you just saw on the other one. Uh, there's the end. You can see there, someone had put some uh, tape, the additional tape, because Kenner used clear. And then we'll look at the bottom of that, where you can see the proof of purchase seal and the uh, uh, code there. And then it says, of course, 1982 Lucasfilm. Well, let's take a look at the instructions. Now, the instructions are what I consider more unusual than most, because it's not as just a single sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper. So on this one, it, uh, on the front, it shows you where to apply the stickers, uh, the door, the hatch, if you will, and uh, for the top, as well as this little gun here, which is uh, one of the ones that is kind of expensive if you have to buy it separately. So it's probably more money wisely you spent if you can get a complete ship rather than have to piece it together. Uh, the breastplate simply snaps into place. Uh, it shows you the uh, vehicle position, whether you're going to uh, have it stand or walk. The guns that click, aren't you just amazed by that? And uh, it says your scout walker legs become detached. Here is how to reattach them. And then the back side, recreate exciting Hoth adventures. Place figures in and around your scout vehicle. Well, and of course this was before Return of the Jedi and doing exciting indoor adventures. And then they have their really do care policy, which was quite awesome at the time. Well, here we have the two scout walkers. And doing a close-up here, we'll move the camera out of the uh, holder. Can you figure out which one has the replacement stickers? Pretty hard to tell. Especially if you're just looking at this with the camera. Well, uh, this one 
here happens to have the replacement stickers. And those are replacement stickers through Zach Paris of Australia. So it's got a little bit different coloring than say this one here, but of course that could just be due to the uh, age of the original stickers and the fact that maybe perhaps they uh, lightened up with time. So uh, looking at the vehicle itself, and we'll take a look at the one that, this is one that I restored. Uh, it, uh, and it didn't quite turn out the way it, uh, I had hoped. Uh, the vehicle didn't sit properly when I got it. It had bowed legs and it still, uh, it still doesn't sit properly. I have to almost kind of force it to do so. Uh, but you can see there that if you need to take the thing apart, there's, a, uh, there's some screws along the side. Uh, so on the back there it says stand and then walk. And uh, this one, uh, the sticker is missing there. And uh, so I haven't replaced any of these and I don't really intend to. But this one was really quite, uh, it had quite a lot of yellowing and discoloration. So I ended up retro a little bit of the cab there. And then uh, using some heat to try to get the legs to come together. But but as you can see there, it's still kind of bowed. It's uh, It likes to try to suck itself in like so. Whereas this one, that way. This is the first one that I purchased. And... Uh, this was the one that came with the box, and the price was really, really reasonable, and I, want, I like to have the boxes with my ships if I can do that, if I can get that. So looking at here, we can see, and this one's got a little bit of nose, uh, the gun's bent just a bit. So this is the gun that's hard to find, um, and of course there's the clicking mechanism, okay, and uh, both of these click. Now we'll take a look at inside the cab, and you can see that it's got uh, quite a few stickers right up top and then it's got some stickers on the inside there uh, and then if you you can put your at ATST driver inside and uh, let's see here I'll just put him right there and then he can sit right inside or you can have chewy stand like for Return of the Jedi now the walking feature this is what happens you press that button and you can see that the legs move up and down if I want to lock it into place, then this is what I do. And I just move it into that place. So that's that's really all there is to it. Now this is that shield that they were talking about on the bottom. And uh, now you can see that he's not quite sitting level. And this is where I have to make it click. There we go. And now it'll sit it level and I guess this is a pretty common problem with some of the scout walkers that they just plain don't like to sit level uh, he's sitting up a little tall I suppose and this one also has some of the original stickers and there you can see kind of where how it's faded uh, compared to the one that that's been oops, that's been replaced uh, but that's okay you know I'm, I'm not opposed to restoring toys as many of you that have followed my channel do it would be wonderful if we could get all uh, an original toy if we had the kind of money you know that it costs for that but sometimes it's uh, it's better just to buy a toy to restore and uh, and then you have some enjoyment and some I don't know like a feel a little bit of attachment to it maybe not uh, if you're a model builder like myself that makes it even more fun to do so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video you found it useful and uh, if this is your favorite rig, let me know in the comments. You know, that's okay. Uh, it's, just, it's just kind of a strange looking thing to me. Take care, and we'll see you on another video.